Welcome back everybody, more deck profile time. I'm gonna get right to it this time because I'm actually managing to do it early in the week for a change instead of waiting until the exact last minute. Uh, you see the cards, you see the title of the video, it's Grand Maju. It's, uh, it's nothing, not gonna be anything too fancy about this. It's just gonna be Grand Maju dot deck with some, uh, well, it's essentially gonna be an engine with Grand Maju thrown in there. So uh, you'll, you'll see once we get into this. Uh, I got this list pretty much from uh, Pretty much from uh, one of the uh, top eight in the YCS recently, a couple uh, couple of weeks ago. Uh, I made a few changes to fit my locals, but I saw the list and it looked really really cool. So I just wanted to I just want to go play some Grand Maju with my locals this week, and we'll see how it goes. But uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. So of course, starting out, uh, you can't have Grand Maju deck without three Grand Maju. Of course, he's not really searchable, so you kind of have to hard draw him. Uh, it's, I mean, it's Grand Maju. Enough said. <laughs> Uh, of course, the standard Grand Maju card, you got uh, three Gizmek and three Eater of Millions. Uh, the list doesn't play three Eater, but Eater Eater's just too good. The, it, it banishes anything, it's hard to attack and get over, it's just it's just a problem if you can't deal with it. Plus, if you open Eater, Grand Maju, then like, you at that point you almost pretty much have game. So, just seeing Eater of Millions is too good, so I decided to play it at three, and then Gizmek is pretty much standard for Grand Maju. Uh, of course, we're running a danger engine, so uh, we just have uh, three Bigfoot and three Thunderbird for the uh, for the danger engine. Those are pretty standard, and the reason, of course, that we have those is they have really good discard effects. Uh, Thunderbird pops back row, and Bigfoot pops anything that's face up, but the main reason we're running those is because it's rank 8. We have a pretty big uh, rank 8 engine in the extra deck, and we'll get to that in a moment, but that's why we're running those. Uh, and of course, we're main decking three alpha because it's level eight. It can bounce stuff. It's a free body on the board. It's just it's just such a good card in Grand Maju, so why not run it? And of course, main decking the one Pankertops because this is a go second deck. Just a free body on the board, a free a free pop on the field. That's just I mean, why not? If you're if you're gonna if you're gonna play Grand Maju, you know why not? Uh, here is one of the interesting tech cards: Fairy Tale Luna. So I saw this and I questioned it at first, but then I understood it. If you don't have Grand Maju and you can use this as your normal summon instead, this card's actually really good because it because what it does is it searches out another copy of itself, so it's another free card in hand or another copy of it for next turn, and then it bounces stuff. You bounce it and another card on your opponent's field if they don't send the same copy. So either they have to send the same copy, meaning they waste another copy, or you just bounce stuff. And it's really, really good, but, it, but what's really good is it gets another copy of itself to its hand, so that's more, say, that's more discard fodder for your danger plays, for example, or just additional cards for other shenanigans that you can do. So this card's actually really, really cool on this deck. It's really, really nuts and comes in handy uh, a lot. And just to uh, round out the monsters, uh, spoiler alert, we are not running the Golden Castle engine in this. The Golden Castle engine, it's cool, it's classic Grand Maju, but it's just it's just too slow, unfortunately. You have to, I went with what I did with this, and the reason this list is what it is is because just Golden Castle is too slow. You have to speed it up a little bit to be able to keep up with modern Yu-Gi-Oh! So unfortunately, the Golden Castle engine has been retired. But we have replaced that with the Fairy Tale Luna package, the Rank 8 engine. And of course, we're going second, so some Kaijus. We got Gamma Seal, and we have Ghidorah. The reason we have these is because six is all you really need. You have Gamma Seal because he's the weakest, and because it's a level eight. And you have Ghidorah also because it's a level eight, and because, I mean, Bird Up's going around. You kind of have to run this one. So the fact that they are also level eight as well is just really, really handy. And that is it for the monsters. On to the uh, spells. You saw the kaiju engine, so of course uh, you can run Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. <laughs> so if you can Raigeki the board and you can banish this from the grave to get another kaiju, why wouldn't you do that if you're running multiple kaijus? It's just, it's a good card. It's funny. Uh, you saw the uh, the top card on the extra deck, so you know that we're running Super Poly targets. So uh, Super Poly is in the main deck. It's just it's super poly <laughs> it clears boards it breaks boards it's a it's a good card it's uh it's really good and you'll see we have some good targets for uh for uh some stuff that's going around at my locals or just in the meta in general uh still the single best 
uh, card ever to grace Grand Maju. Pot of Desires, this card is literally just Pot of Greed for this deck. You banish 10, you automatically make Grand Maju have 4k attack, and you get two cards off of it if they don't ash it. It's just, it's just beautiful. And of course, we're running a lot of rank 8 engine cards in this, so just three trade in to round it out. If they ash it, it sucks, but I mean, there just comes a point where you have to rely on this if it comes down to it. Uh, that is the main deck. That is 40 cards, surprisingly enough. I know, that's surprising for me. Uh, on to the extra deck to show you the shenanigans that's going on here. Uh, we're playing Super Poly, so of course we have to play Super Poly targets. Uh, we have Mudragon, Starving Venom, and Dragos Topelia for the generic targets. I mean, these are just... Are you up against a dark deck? Are you up against, you know, Dragoon or some other fusion variants? Do you just need some generic thing? Uh, those are your generic targets. And then for your more, um, for your more meta, uh, targets or your, and just some other stuff that's running around at my locals, we have the Eldritch Fusion because we have a decent bit of Eldritch at my locals to be able to clear that out. We have, uh, Guard Dragon, all, uh, how do you say that? This one, Almar, Duke, whatever however you say it. its requirement is three links there's there's a lot of there's a decent bit of dragon link in my local as well so i mean when they get uh if they leave like three links on the board which they do sometimes that's just i mean why not do it right i mean if you or if you just set super poly and then they start going into their uh, plays to kill you you just super poly them and then you go back to your next turn and you kill them it's it's just it's just too good and then we have uh invoked elysium this is a uh, invoked no <laughs> Enough said with that. Uh, there's a lot of invoked at my locals. This just helps to uh, this just helps to clear those out. And that is the super poly targets that we're running. Uh, you can run different ones depending on uh, what you're uh, what you're boarding for, or if you're even playing super poly in the first place. It's just too good of a card to uh, it's just too good of a card to run that. Uh, on to the rank eight engine. Uh, we have uh, the OTK machine. We have Draglubion, Hope Harbinger, and Numeron Dragon. Uh, they're all level 8s. So they're all good individually, but uh, these three in particular are for the Numeron Dragon OTK. I mean, you you make Draglubion, use its effect to put Hope Harbinger under this, and then you just you, you kill them. <laughs> you make this like 11k attack, and you swing over something, and you kill them. It's beautiful. On to the rest of the rank 8s. We are playing a Dingirsu because Dingirsu is a good card. We are playing Sky Prison because stopping special summoning is good. And then, of course, when you can slap Zeus onto anything, just attack one of your NXCs, put Pain Gainer under it, put Zeus. Zeus go burr. <laughs> and then we just wanted some generic links, so we just have Phoenix and Cerberus because those are link 2s. They're easier to make, and they help clear out problems. To for the extra deck onto the side deck. Uh, we of course have D Shifter because this is Grand Maju. Uh, the reason I'm not main decking this is just because I had to fit all the rest of this stuff in there. I know it would make more sense to main deck D Shifter, but there's just some matchups that don't care. Like if 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 Eltledge sets five and passes after I D Shifter them, then it's just like cool. What do we do now? <laughs> uh, that's the first little bit. Then we have uh, three Lancia, of course. I mean, there's there's a bunch that banishes uh, my locals. We have some Dino players coming back. We have a lot of Bird up starting to come up. We have Invoked. It's just it's just too good not to play at three. Okay, you kind of have to. Uh, for back row hate, we have the one Lightning Storm, the one Feather Duster, and the one Reboot. The only re we're only running these for for back row because there's just other stuff that we have to sideboard into Grand Maju, and the rest of that is, unfortunately, Floodgates. We have uh, three Summon Limit, and three There Can Be Only One. Grand Maju cannot go, absolutely cannot go second, so you have to have a sideboard ready for when you know they're, they're going to make you go first, and you have to do that in the form of these Floodgates. Uh, that is it. Uh, short, sweet, to the point. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of the day.